Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I posted on my Snapchat that I wanted to do a Q&A and that I was looking for snaps asking me questions and I have quite a few here on my home screen and I can't wait to see what you crazy folks have in store for me. So let's get cracking. I have about, okay, I have a lot more than I was expecting, but let's see how we go. Gronya Mullins asks, if it's not too personal, could you explain why you say you don't want to get married? All good if it's something you don't want to answer. Um, honestly, it's just not something that's ever really been important to me. It's not even, it's not even that I don't want to be married. Like maybe I will get married someday, but I don't want this big crazy party. It's just, I know for some girls, it's ultimately what they really, really want, but it's just not for me. There's no mad reason why. There's no conspiracy. There is no traumatic experience, but it's just my own personal preference. Hayley Osborne asks, what are my macros? Do I find it difficult reaching them now I'm vegan? I'm transitioning to vegan right now and sometimes I find it difficult. Um, I completely ignore macros now. The only macro I kind of keep an eye on is fat. I try to keep my fat kind of very, very low, down to about 10%. Other than that, I try and keep my carbs up around 80 to 90%. So it's pretty easy hitting those macros, not going to lie. J underscore E asks, are you going to be doing any travel vlogs soon? Love your channel. Short answer, no. Um, basically, travel vlogs don't do that well on my channel, honestly. Although my Berlin ones did kind of okay. But honestly, they do take away from the trip quite a bit and they make it less of a trip away and a bit, it can be a bit stressful. So I'm not planning on doing any anytime soon, even though I am planning on some trips over the near future. I probably won't be vlogging on them, unfortunately. Mac893 said, Hey Laura, what was the hardest part for you becoming a vegan? I didn't find it that hard at all. I watched one documentary, which is Earthlings, and from that moment on, I was like, I can never ever eat animal products ever again. So it was actually quite easy. If I had to pick something, it's the mindset of having meat being the star of any dish. Um, I found that quite difficult to break through, but yeah, I'm over it now. I don't need a star of a dish. The entire dish itself is the star of the show. Same question again from Leah, so I'm not going to repeat that. Danielle asks, how long have you been vegan? Um, okay, all these questions are kind of vegan. Uh, a year. Shea Kinsella says, my question is, I often hear you say you don't want to get married. May I ask why and do you and Ian like to have kids someday or are kids just not for you? Thanks, PS, love your makeup today. Okay, thank you, Sinead. Um, I addressed the marriage thing before and as for the kids thing, again, I don't feel any great need to have children. And do you know what, actually? I'm going to discuss this here now. Whenever people, my peers, who would be around my age, like 29, 30, 31, 32, they say to me, oh, you'll be next, Laura, you're gonna have kids soon. And I'm going, no, I don't really want to have kids. If the people themselves who are saying that to me have children, it's almost like I've insulted them. They take that as a personal insult when I say I don't want children. I'm not saying I hate kids. It doesn't mean it's not for me, but I do feel like people get very offensive, like offended when I say that I don't want kids. I don't, I don't actually understand why that is. If you can maybe shed some light on that in the comment section down below, I'd love to hear it. Why do people get so offended when I say I don't want to have children? I, I, I don't know why that is. So I'd love, 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 love to hear your thoughts. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Aideen? A A Aiden Mac, I've, I chat with you all the time on Snapchat. I just don't know how to pronounce your first name, really sorry. She has a few questions. If you could change your profession, what would you choose? Cough, veterinary nurse, cough. I would love to be paid to travel. That would be like the ultimate, wouldn't it? Number two, what is a small personal goal you have? I always wanted to go to New York and eat out of those little Chinese boxes with chopsticks like Sandra Bullock and Miss Congeni Congeniality. A small personal goal. That's a really good one. This is why I'm caught on the hop on these bloody things. Um, I want to live in a much bigger property soon. Number three, have you ever broken a bone? Nope. Number four, do you come to Limerick often with Ian? No, I don't, but I do plan to. I really want to do a meetup soon. Number five, what's the one pair of shoes you wear the most? These, my cons, they're filthy, but you know what? I actually like them better when they're dirty than when they're clean. And what is your favorite pair of shoes apart from those? Okay. 
I really like these rose gold stilettos. They're faux leather. I really like them. And they were only five euro in pennies about two years ago. Sive asks, have you tried the Urban Decay Naked Skins Concealer? And what are your thoughts on it? Is what is your holy grail concealer? I didn't like that at all. I found it creased and caked under my eyes really badly. So I do not recommend that. My holy grail at the moment and has been for quite some time is the NYX HD concealer. And I use the color number two and I find this absolutely amazing. I need to repurchase this because this is on its last legs. Suze S, do you miss anything in certain meals or foods since going vegan? No, because I can have everything just veganized. For example, if I want pizza, I can have a vegan pizza if I want. Sausage sandwich, I can have vegan sausage sandwich. It's it's actually pretty easy. Karen Byrne, who made you or inspired you to make the change become vegan? Who made me go vegan? No one made me go vegan. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the documentary I watched called Earthlings. If you can watch that documentary and not be affected by it, I don't want to speak to you ever again. <laughs> Chloe, would you ever get a pet? If yes, what pet? And if not, why? Yes, I would love to have a really big dog, like um, a German Shepherd or something like that, Golden Retriever. I'd like a really big dog, but obviously in an apartment, it's not really feasible right now. Alex says, do you think that being vegan has made you a happier person? Uh, yes, I do think my moods have become greatly elevated since going vegan, whereas before I might have been a little bit moodier. Um, I think Ian will actually agree that my moods have definitely become much, much, much better since going vegan. I'm not sure what the connection is, but there you go. Lauren asks, how do you find living in Ireland? It's hard for me to answer that because I've never lived anywhere else. So it's, it's grand. Um, the weather could be a little bit better, but yeah. Do you ever think you could move a country? See, I've traveled quite a bit. I would love to go back to LA and live there. And I know a lot of people say that LA is not a nice, area and they didn't like it. I really liked LA, really liked it. And Santa Barbara, I know Ian loved Santa Barbara and Santa Barbara is just a hop, skip and a jump up from LA, but yeah, I really liked California. Erin asks, what trips are you planning till the end of the year? Uh, I have a few trips booked, but I don't really want to talk about them, honestly, because I get an awful lot of grief whenever I do. Like people are really interested and I totally get that. And I love that people are really into traveling as well and want to hear my tips and all that. But whenever I mention it, people get so hung up over money and how can you afford these things? And like, I get so much grief. I don't want to be like poking the monster and looking for the grief. Um, I'm not rich, by the way. People make this assumption that I'm rich or I come from money or I inherited money. Not that it's anyone's business if I did or I didn't, but I didn't. I am just a pretty good saver. I'm pretty good with money. I'm good at finding good deals. If you'd like an in-depth video on how I can afford things, please let me know. Either leave me a comment down below or on my Facebook page or whatever, or send me a snap. Just let me know that is something you'd be interested in because I'm going to gauge interest in that. Like I know talking about money is often seen as very classless and whatever, but I think that's very old fashioned. I mean, we can talk about money, but I would be more than happy to talk to you about how I myself personally can afford things. Just hit a girl up, you know? And so that is everything. I've opened all my snaps. So it would appear people are really interested in the vegan thing overall, which is great. A bit of interest is always good. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. Let me know if you'd like another one in the near future. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.